This is something pretty unique. It's the common instant swagger two-person tent or swag. In reality, it sits right in between. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's check it out. Hit it. G'day folks, Ben from Snow is here today down at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park on an overcast day and I've got the common instant swagger two-person, I wanna say tent, but it's kind of a tent, or well, it's not really a tent, it's not really a swag, it, well, common claims fills the void between the two. Gives kind of the, the simplicity of a swag without the bulk that you get from a big swag and also gives a bit more headroom like you would get in a tent. So kind of kind of crosses both, both sort of scenarios. Could also be a good option if you want a, a second tent for your kids to sleep in, um, so they've got their own space. We'll run through all the features today. We'll start with the fabrics. Now, this is 150 denier uh, polyester fly sheet. It's got a 1500 mil water head and a seam seal throughout, so it gives good water protection. The frame is a steel frame. We've got steel upright awning poles here. And if we move back to the frame here, you can't quite see up underneath, but there's a frame, a uh, steel frame across the top. There's steel frame down the sides. And there's also a couple of composite poles, which a little bit hard to see here at the moment. We can actually have a look on the other side here. A couple of little flexible poles that sit in here. That's sort of a, a fiberglass composite pole that just creates a little bit more headroom by bringing this corner out rather than it being a, a tight peak at the top there. The inner is also 150 denier polyester. It's not seam sealed on the inner, but you can actually use this inner by itself because it has its own guy ropes on just the inner tent. So you can set it up with or without the fly and it's just as stable. The doorways have got a mesh in it, not an ultra fine mesh, good for mosquitoes. I don't think that's gonna be midge proof, but it's gonna allow you to keep the mozzies out and still allow ventilation inside the tent. And the floor is a tarp, like a polyethylene tarp material. So it's crinkly, but this is a really heavy duty and durable material to use for tent floors. We'll jump inside and have a look in there shortly, but I just wanna stand up and show you a bit, or do a bit of a walk around on the outside and show you the features there. And we'll start with the front of the tent. I've got this set up with the vestibule. This front doorway is set up as a vestibule, or it's not a vestibule, sorry, a weather protected awning uh, in the front of the swagger here. So these awning poles and these guy ropes all come included. So you can set it up like this for a bit of shade protection or a little bit of rain protection. If you were to zip this closed, the zips that run along this edge and this edge here, so you can zip it down close to create a weather protected vestibule at the front here. And this comes about 60 centimeters out from the tent to this edge here. So enough room for a little bit of gear to store in there out of the rain. Move around to the side of the tent. Uh, we'll talk about the guy ropes in a second. I'll just show you the, the window here first. So this window is mirrored on the other side of the tent here. So this is zipped closed at the moment. We can also unzip this, peg this out to allow a little bit of weather protection while allowing ventilation up underneath or roll it up completely, secure it with the tabs at the top here, keep it up out the way so you've got full ventilation through this side and the same window on the other side of the tent. Now I just want to talk about guy ropes quickly because uh, traditionally with the Coleman's instant up range, we've always said make sure you set it up with the fly in full for maximum stability. This is a much smaller tent, so it's much more stable anyway, but Coleman have actually introduced an extra set of guy ropes. So you've got these in the fly sheet here for stability. Now if I just unclip this fly sheet and show you underneath to the inner tent, we'll see that there are also guy ropes on the inner here. And what that means is you can just set the inner tent up by itself on a dry, warm, humid night, and you've still got the same stability you would have as, you were, as if you were using the guy ropes on the fly sheet here as well. So you've got a few different setup options there. Let's move around to the rear of the tent here. Not much to see here, there's no windows, but there is this little kind of dome shape here. That teams up, if I just pull the peg out a little bit, it lines up with this vent underneath here. So this is a mesh section and an internally adjustable divider. We'll show you a bit more about that shortly, but that allows ventilation at the rear of the tent. You combine that with the windows on both sides and the door that we'll go through shortly, you've got ventilation on all four sides of the tent. Last side of the tent over this way, same window as we saw at the other end, this is zipped closed at the moment. Two more guy ropes, and once again, two more guy ropes un up underneath there as well, so you can just set up the inner by itself. It's pretty much all the features on the outside. We'll come around to the front here again. I will just mention with this awning, you can actually roll this up here as well. There are tabs here, so you can roll that awning up right up and out the way, so you, you can use it, well, not, not use it at all, I suppose. Just leave it rolled up there. Coming into the door, we've got a double door that we walk through here. So this has got a mesh panel on the outside and a solid polyester panel on the inside here, which is internally adjustable. So while we're inside the tent, 
we can unzip this to allow ventilation inside and that means we can just sort of zip it down halfway if we like so if I open this to the top halfway down I can zip this up again and we can see that we've just got just a bit of ventilation in the top corner there while we've got privacy down low so double door to walk through we'll step inside the tent check out the features in there now inside the swagger 2p here got plenty of space but before we go on to all the dimensions we'll talk about the features Firstly, at the top here, we've got a little plastic lantern hook, uh, and that's actually secured to the frame up above that. So you could hang, not a heavy lantern, but a lightweight lantern on there, and it's not going to pull the fabric down inside the tent. As we move aside, we can see that the, those composite poles that I talked about before on the outside are giving us this kind of flat roof here. So it's giving us plenty of headspace right over to the edge of the tent. And as we move down, the, mirror, the features are somewhat mirrored on each side. So this is a mesh window, same mesh that we saw in the door at the front there. Just looking through to that window on the outside that we opened up before. And inside here, we've got a privacy screen. So we can adjust this during the night if we want. We zip it up just to that point to allow ventilation or zip it closed completely for full privacy or to try and trap the warmth in if we like. That can be secured with a tab at the bottom there and below that just on this side is a little double mesh pocket there for storage. Just on the front corner of the tent here we've got a little power access point so if we do have a 12 volt fan or a 12 volt light that we want to run inside the tent we can put the power cord through this little zipper here. Zips closed to keep um, you can zip it closed up against the, the cord to keep all the bugs out at night. Having a look at the other side of the tent, much the same window here. This is zipped closed at the moment. Internal privacy screen there, looking to the window on the outside. There's no mesh pockets underneath this one here, and there's no other access points on this side. There's just the one. And the last thing in terms of ventilation, it's just at the rear of the tent here. This is the circle ventilation feature that I was talking about before that looks at that little dome on the outside there. So we can open this up, roll this up and secure it with these toggles here to allow ventilation nice and low in the tent here. Alternatively, if it is a cold night, you can zip this up so you don't get too much breeze down low in the tent and just leave the vents open up high to allow that warm air to escape to minimize condensation. I just wanna talk about the space inside the Swagger here. Now I'm 185 centimeters, so I can sit up pretty comfortably just about anywhere in the tent here because of this kind of flat or th those composite poles on the outside that, that sort of pull the edges of the roof out. At the very peak here, it's about 120 centimeters and it tapers off just a little bit to these corners here to probably around about 110 centimeters. So plenty of sitting space in here. And these end walls are almost upright. They only slope in slightly. So you can sit right up at the edge here and not, not have that sort of wasted space where there's a sloped tent wall. So there's plenty of sitting space inside the tent here. In terms of floor space, it's 240 centimetres from sort of the very edge to the very edge in terms of length and about 180 centimetres or just under by my measurements from sort of this outer edge here to the outer edge at the front. So a good amount of space for two person. It's, it's a pretty generous sort of two person, um, what you'll class as a hiking tent dimension, I suppose, but it's by no means a hiking tent. Probably the best thing to do is I've got a couple of mats, a double and a single, that I'm gonna throw in here to show you how you might be able to use the space. So I put the single in here for starters. Now this is about two meters long, 200 centimeters long, and about 70 centimeters wide. I've only got one to put in here for you today, but you can see you could quite comfortably fit a second one here. These are about 10 centimeters high, so they fit pretty comfortably inside the swagger here. A little bit of space at each end, but if you did have two of these mats in here, you wouldn't have a lot of room for storage storage but you do have that vestibule out the front there you might be wondering if you can fit a double mat in here i have got one i'm not sure how i'd go fitting it through the door i'm going to give that a go in a sec but i probably recommend putting the mat in and inflating it inside the tent here now i did have to take undo the valve on this mat it's a self-inflating mat and fold it in half to get it in through the door here but once it's in there it actually fits pretty comfortably. That's sitting sort of in the middle now, but if I push this right over to the corner, give you an idea of the space. It's about 10 centimeters high, so it sits below that sort of bucket floor edge there. We've got space on the side here for a bit of storage. We've got space at one end there for storage, and then 130 centimeters width of mat here, and it's also two meters long, so you've got sleeping space for two there. So. It's quite a comfortable uh, sleeping space for, for two person. Gives you a bit more than a swag would for a two person sleeping arrangement. A bit more head space, plenty of room to sit up and storage inside as well. Plus you've got this vestibule at the front here. That is all the features of the common instant swagger two person tent, not a swag, let's go with swent. 
I reckon this is a great option maybe for people who say uh, are caravanning or forward driving, they've got a rooftop tent, they need a, a small, easy to set up tent for side trips. Uh, maybe you don't want to go down the path of a swag because you want a bit more space inside the tent, but yet you don't want to have to set up a really big tent whenever you're camping. This gives you that little bit of extra headspace, bit of interior storage space, plus that vestibule out the front there. So just another alternative to, for people to, to find something that might fit in with their specific lifestyle. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions though, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel, we'll send you all of our best information or check out some other videos like this one down here.